here all you ninjas, it's me the Stealth Ninja here again with another review. <sighs> Guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Fortnite ARL SCAR. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, today we're going to be reviewing the Fortnite ARL SCAR. This is a flywheel powered blaster and yes, batteries are included with this blaster. So yeah. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, what the heck is this marking on here? It, this is basically an autograph from Jared. <laughs> you guys know, you guys don't know who Jared is. His, I'll leave his channel right there on right here, and I'll also leave it in the link description down below. Yeah, and shout out to you, Jared. Thank you so much, you know, for signing my blaster. Yeah, basically, Jared is basically the host of some Nerf blaster battle that's gonna be coming up around May 13th. If you guys want to know what the blaster battle is, then uh, you can go on Jared's channel and find out what it is. It's Like I said, it's in the link in the description down below. So go check it out. So, but yeah, without further ado, yeah, uh, thank you so much, Jared, for signing my blaster, by the way. But yeah, this is a uh, fully auto-fed magazine, you know, powered blaster, <laughs> basically. And it's really, it's, it's okay, but like, it's okay. It's okay. Let's just say that right here. But right now, let's just get into it right here. So yeah, basically, there's no uh, in, there's no barrel attachments or anything here at the front. There, uh, there's no stock well, attachments here or anything. Basically, because they already put a stock on here for it, it's permanently screwed on there all the way. And here we got the rail attachments or anything. In case you want to add a scope on here for the scars, you know, if you want to, of course. And then I think a scope would actually look cool on this. But as you can see, it's got these little scopes right here that basically that are kind of little. Actually, no, I'm just going to say that these are, these are just kind of crappy looking. I'm just going to say that right now. It makes it look a little bad. But you can if you don't want to use them, you can just put them down like this, you know. It's, it's like I said, it's really cool. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's really cool, to, like, when you look through it. But when you, when it's like this, though, the style of it itself, though, is just so, uh, a little bit. But I think it's all right. I get, I will rate these a, like, a nine right here, for, you know, just, just for the style of it. Yeah, but the scar itself, the style and everything, the creativity is amazing. It's just like, because you guys already know in like in my previous videos, I've played Fortnite multiple times. I'm a gamer. And yes, I still do Fortnite streams, just not now, though, because I'm too busy making nerf content for you guys. But yeah, this blaster is really cool. And uh, here we also got the, uh, here, this is the best part about this blaster. You got the opening here. It's, you know, the opening is this right here is where when you put the magazine through this part here, through the, like through the magazine. The magazine goes through here. I'll show you the magazine in a second now. But this part here is to clear out any jams and malfunctions. And yes, guys, I actually experienced jams and malfunctions with this blaster finally. <laughs> uh, blaster like every time i shoot this gun like every time like i i hold to rev it like uh, like a dart like and then i just shoot it just like like this like quick a dart automatically gets stuck in there and it has to just curse out and go jimmy 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 all the way just put my finger and then just just get it out you know but uh yeah if you leave this open and then basically you don't have the magazine in then basically it won't you know rev or anything you won't be a shooter but basically the button will be locked in place for it even if you have this closed, it was the button will still be locked in place. The trigger will still be locked in place. You won't be able to rev it or anything. You cannot rev it without a magazine, guys. Yeah, basically, uh, now for the magazine part, it will take any, you know, magazine. A Nerf magazine, of course. It's compatible with other magazines, you know, like I said, these magazines right here, which I have loaded, which we're going to test soon. But, yeah, it's compatible with orange magazines like this and, and compatible with the usual Fortnite magazine as well. But, uh, yeah, guys, so... You guys, if you guys want to know how to get the magazine out, like I said, finger, finger, right here on this trigger, this button right here. Take it out. Boom. Now, it's, it's like simple, fast, easy to get out. But it's also easy to reload, too. So, you know, say if I was like, if I ran out of ammo, it's like, take this out. It's like, boom. It's right in there. Easy reload. Simple, fast. So, uh, yeah, guys, this, this is my review on the, you know, AR, <laughs> ARL, Fortnite Scar. So, yeah, uh, let's get into the fire testing, shall we? Wait, before we get right to the, before we get into right to the testing, uh, yeah, guys, I just want to let you guys a little know something. If you this will not help you win Nerf wars, but if you are a diehard, you know, Fortnite fan or you're a big fan of the game or anything, you could use this to you know, just to play with and have fun with this. But I'm just letting you know right now, this will not help you win Nerf wars because I tried this myself because I went to Jared's epic blaster battle myself, and when I used this gun for the battle, <laughs> it was really crap. For me, it did not go so well. Basically, I straight up lost with this blaster, man. So I'm not taking this to the blaster battle with me. In the let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to, you know, see me film Jared's epic blaster battle. If you guys want to see that, I'll do it. It's gonna be happening at the SoFi Stadium 
uh, May 13th. So, and if you guys live out here in Los Angeles, hopefully I'll see you there. But, uh, yeah, uh, basically, I'm just saying there, I'm not taking this with me at all. So, it's because, like I said, it didn't do me any good. It's just, but it's still fun to play with, though, and just, just shoot around. But this won't help you. This won't help you at all. It won't help you win blaster battles, guys. I'm just going to say that right now. It won't work. Trust me. But, yeah, like I said, on with the video. Back to the fire testing, shall we? Oh, yeah, this blaster does not have slim fire. <laughs> Time for the test. All right, so we got to hold the button right here to rev it up. Okay, like I said, guys, I didn't know. I, I tried slim fire, and I guess it does have slim fire because you, because you got to go fast on the trigger. Never mind that. So scratch that one. Sorry if this blaster does not have slim fire. It actually, I was wrong. It does have slim fire. So okay, so yeah, it shoots pretty well. It's perfect and everything. But like I said, this will not help you win Nerf wars or anything. It's just like I said, it's just fun to play with, goof around with anything. But this will not help you win Nerf wars. Okay, guys, I'm gonna say that right now. I'm gonna save you the trouble. But if you guys are, like I said, if you guys love, you know, Fortnite so much, then I would consider, for some of you Fortnite lovers out there, even me, purchasing this blaster. There's also other Fortnite gun, Nerf guns out there that I, I haven't even tested myself, just this one. I haven't even tested the other ones, or like or the pistol rifle, or like the pistols or whatever. But if you guys want to see me, you know, get those ones and test those ones for future videos, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, guys, that is my review on the, you know, ARL Fortnite Scar, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all later. Stealth Ninja out and peace.